try to be honest and keep it modest But the longer that I live is becoming a harder process I'm famous and so gone, my favorite's the slow songs Cause niggas feel like heartbreak but they finish it so strong In my own lane but I flirt with that fine line The top my destination, high stepping like prime time My women they get better with age and I like fine wine Had a couple crazy, that's worse than a chicken time bomb I be in meetings and random numbers be calling me She be like my friend used to talk to you, you stalking me that's why I deal with people that's cut from the same cloth as me. Put that phone down and I'm asking, like, what that offer be? Keep that money coming, bruh. Get it here on time. Stay away from suckers that be hating from behind. A lot of baby dames in the streets dropping dimes. If that went in but your head, learn to read between the lines. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Lethal back with another video. Real quick, in this video, man, I'm just... Huge shout out to Vito, Jojo. Um... What's coming up in this gameplay is something I've been wanting to see from these guys. Uh, just to see how we fare. So I've been playing a bunch of 3v3 with the new guys, JoJo and Vito. Those are the guys that are on the team now. Um, along with RDH, Hawk, and T-Will. As you can see, we just beat this team 3v3. We're on three-game streak. Actually, we're on like a seven-game streak. we just been bouncing around from court to court. And you go, I'm going to show you what pretty much happens, all right? So we sit there, as you can see right here, we win this game. But after we win this game, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. We're just sitting here for 30 minutes to an hour waiting for somebody to come back, come over there and play us. Like, you know, people can't necessarily look at your record unless they look up your name on the phone. But, like, it literally takes so long to get another game. We just end up leaving and going to play somewhere else. Now, the one thing about playing with these two guys, we have not lost 3v3 yet. But I wanted to see if these guys, if, you know, if we was matched up against, you know, people I feel like could all handle the ball, could all shoot, and they play defense pretty well. Could we have to actually beat a team if we got down, like, 5-0, you know, 7-0, something like that? We just got down. Um, when the game started, could we lock in and do enough to come back and beat a team that I feel is pretty good? Lo and behold, this is our opportunity. All right, so we go to the next court. These guys are waiting. And you can't really judge nobody to the game starts. You can't look at rep or anything. Some of the best players who play comp don't even have rep because they don't touch the park at all. They just play pro-am comp games all day. But... These are three decent opponents looking at it. And from the first bucket that they scored, right there they get a simple back door. I'm not really tripping off of but it just told me they had a little bit of chemistry. Um, one thing I look at is can they play some defense? So they come down, this good who guard me is like all over me. I can't dribble, I can't go anywhere. You know, they driving down into the paint where they're supposed to so they can help, and then they running back to the three-point line. That's pretty good defense. Right here, JoJo gets a back door, gets blocked. Um, and now they great pass for a lead. So I'm thinking to myself, hmm, this might be the first time we actually go against some people I felt like should beat us. So right here, JoJo gets a wide-open look. He doesn't miss these often, but he missed that one. And they come down, try to throw the oop, get the rebound, and this is kind of what I'm talking about. There's no way that guy should have had a wide open look from the corner. So, at this point, this is what I wanted to see. You know, if we was down 5-0, 7-0 to a team, could we actually come back and make it a game? Like, we ain't necessarily got to win this game, but I'm looking for, can we make it like a 19-15, 19-17? Like, if they beat us... Can we close the gap enough to make the game interesting? And that's what I want to see. Because when you play these kind of pro-am games, you got to be able to withstand runs, put one of your own together, and then try to finish strong whenever you get down. Because when we get down, we're going to argue with each other and all that other stuff. I just want to know, are these guys going to compete? Or are we about to sit here and get blown out? All right? I already established that that team should be a better team than us. But I just want to see how they handle it. So at this point, I'm going to just go get a bucket. I saw JoJo wide open, but I always put it on myself because I feel like I'm the best player no matter where I'm playing at. 
I went and got a bucket, and now I'm going to play some defense just to see what they do. Right there, big miss. And right here, key thing, they put the ball back in my hands. Right there, they put the ball in my hands. I kick it to Vito. Now Vito look like the best player on the court. All right, from there, can we play some defense, you know? Like I said, I'm pretty good at guarding my guy. Um, JoJo right here, big contest. We come up with the rebound. What I'm going to do, JoJo spaced out, allowed me a chance to pop the wide open three. Now, all of a sudden, the score is 8-7. Team thought it was sweet. We on a nice little comeback. But can we complete it, though? Because now, at this point, we show that we can compete. All right, right there. A little bit of miscommunication. These shots that they're getting that's wide open, that's what I'm trying to eliminate. And that's where we got to get better. Right here, again, they put the ball back in my hands. That's a key thing. So I'm going to kick it to Vito. And again, watch me just set the screen and watch how Vito uses the screen. Spins off, baseline, two-hand jam. Again, Vito looked like the best player on the court right now. You know? Now look at JoJo again. He's playing good defense. Right there, that should have been a switch. That's something they need to work on. But they'll get it down if they keep playing. But again, they put the ball back in my hands. I can't stress it enough. As you see, JoJo make a great move. Now JoJo looks like the best player on the court. I can't stress enough how many times I have played games with people and they don't put the ball back in my hands and we end up getting blown out. It happens a lot in 2v2. Happens when I'm trying to find people 3v3. People try to play hero ball. Like, it's okay to trust in somebody else other than yourself. Like, let me create because that's what I do. It's okay to let me be me and let me make everybody else better. Because when you do that, it gives you a fighting chance every single time. I can't stress how many times I play with guys. I'm telling you, I won't touch the ball again. We get blown out. I'm looking at these guys like, y'all terrible. Y'all suck. But at the same time, they're looking at me like I didn't do nothing to make a difference where I didn't get a chance to. You know, if y'all take all the shots and y'all miss all y'all shots, what can I do about it? Right there, more good defense for JoJo. And... Right now, I'm just taking advantage of the fact that my man can't guard me. You know, me getting to the rim, threatening to score every single time, is eventually going to open up wide open threes. It happened. That's the way basketball is played. So right here is another wide open shot. Again, those are the shots I'm trying to eliminate, but they didn't knock it down. When we get to count teams, they are knocking that down 100% of the time. So that's what we need to tighten up on. Right here, I meant to hit JoJo, but Vito steps up and shoots it in that man's face. It's tough. Really tough. Coming back down now, score 19-12. Right here, great make by that guy, but I wasn't really tripping because like, we was up 19-12 at that point. You know, great make by him, but now, you know, we was down 7-0. And now I'm going to kick it to the person that played defense and made everything happen, which is JoJo. Now JoJo look like the best player on the court. So I tell my team, man, if I look like the worst player on the floor, then they're going to have a hell of a time trying to beat us. And they just showed me something in that game that I didn't know if they was capable of. All right, so, hey, man, it's time to really grind. I plan on bringing y'all comp program games real soon. But, yeah, man, as long as we can keep progressing and getting better and getting that chemistry down, we're going to be scary as soon as we get in the leagues and all that stuff. And it's what I wanted all, all along, just to have four teammates that will listen and want to get better and want the same thing, which is just to win games. So other than that, it's been lethal. If you catch me at the park, you know, come get some dubs on me if you can. If not, take the L. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.